Hi, I'm Crafty Patty, and I've been finding a great way to use up my leftover balls of yarn. This was yarn for making those retro knitted slippers. And this yarn is just yarn I've had around for I don't know how long. You'll want to choose three different colors of yarn and a fourth if you want a different scarf. So the, the color brown, obviously for your head, paws, and your feet, or you can make a black bear or a white bear, whatever yarn you've got. And then choose a color for your sweater and a color for your trousers. But make sure you can find a number four. We're going to be using smaller needles than you would normally knit with this size of yarn. And obviously scissors to cut your yarn, tape measure to me measure out the length of our knitted rows. You'll also want a darning needle with a blunt end and a very large eye that will fit the yarn through. And we're going to be putting on darning little faces with embroidery thread. So you'll need some darning needles or embroidery needles and obviously some embroidery cotton. Some optional tools but not absolutely necessary is a stitch holder, crochet hook to help add yarn, and if you want some um, markers, I use either paper clips or bobby pins. And you'll want some stuffing to stuff your little guy. So, I think this little guy needs a friend. And he does too. So, stay tuned and let's knit up another bear together. I have typed out this full pattern for the Knitted Teddy Bear and there's actually two pages of knitted instructions. Um, don't worry, you don't need to look at this right now. I will put it in the description box below the video. That's that little tiny arrow to the right and just below the video. Click on that and this will all show in that description box or it might say the words show more. The first thing I like to do is pull off about two feet of the color I'm using for my body yarn. And then at that point, I've got all this yarn here that I can use to sew up my feet when I'm going to sew up my seams later and I don't have to cut an extra piece of yarn. So at that point, we're going to make our slip knot. So the yarn comes over, making a little loop. This yarn's on the top. Just bring your yarn through, make a loop, Pull that through with your thumb, hold on to your two ends, and you've now made your slip knot. Grab your needle, and as it is a slip knot, we're gonna slip that up. And now what we're going to do is we're going to knit 10 cast on stitches. I call this a knitted cast on because that's how I like to do my cast on stitches. So insert your needle, your right needle, into that slip knot. Grab the yarn that comes off your ball, not the short end. And we're going to wrap it around that back of the needle. Bring it through and up. Now we're going to come back into the stitch in our right needle. Wrap around and bring it up but we're not taking it off like we normally would when we're knitting because we're casting on. Again, through the right, wrap around, and bring it up. Now you can see that we've cast on three stitches already. Let's do another one. Five. Six. Now this is number nine, and you'll see if you count, one, two, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, this is nine. So we're going to go in one more time, and this one left on the needle will become ten. So we just put our needle in there and slide that on and that becomes number 10. Now we're going to knit 15 rows. Every row knit 
So just, if you're a beginner, reminder for knit stitches, into that first stitch, wrap around, and this time, instead of the cast on, we're taking that right off the needle, into the next one. Wrap around, through, and slide it off. Knit to the end of the row. That's your first row knitted. So we just transfer our left needle to our right. And now we've got the right needle into our left hand and we're going to knit again. So row number two and continue that until you have knit 15 rows and I'm on my last two stitches for my 15th row and then we're going to cut this yarn off leaving enough to tie on the next color decide what color you want for your trousers so that's your little pause and now decide what color you want for your trousers and now I'm going to tie on my next piece of yarn with an actual square knot. I do like to tie a knot because this is a children's toy and you want it to be really strong. So I do not mind tying it with a knot. So start your knot really close to your last stitch. So left over right, right over left. And then cinch that up as close as you can to the last stitch on your needle, like so, okay? So now we can take our other needle and we're now going to pick up our yarn coming from our ball and we're going to be knitting 28 rows for this trouser leg. So same as before, all knit stitches is we're just finishing off my last row of 28 rows. Got two more stitches to do. Here's our one finished pant leg, the paw and the trouser. This is on the one needle right now, but we will be needing this needle to do the rest of our knitting. So we'll just push this down to the end of our needle and let's pick up our second needle and we'll cast on another 10 stitches. Again, with our slip knot, picking up our other needle and let's again cast on our 10 stitches, making sure you are using the yarn coming off of the ball. Around we go and into the stitch on the right needle to do our 10 cast on stitches, just like before. This is just a little bit of a reminder in case you forgot how to do the knitted cast on. Okay, I think you got it. Starting number nine. And remember that when we did our 10th cast on, we just slipped it right on to the needle for number 10. And you can just go back and count and make sure you've got your 10. So go ahead and just like your first pant leg, knit your 15 rows. When you have finished your 15th row on your second little paw, you should be on the right side of your work. Always on the right side when you're adding your next color because you want to be able to see it so it looks like this. This is the right side, and this is what the wrong side looks like. You can see where the beige has gone into the row below into the brown color. This is your wrong side, and this is your right side. So do make sure that you're in the right place at the right time, 15 rows, and on the right side. Now you can add your yarn 
to start your trousers for your second leg. All right, grab your other needle and let's start again with our 28 rows into your first stitch, making sure that you grab onto the yarn that's coming off of the ball and using that one and not the short strands. And again, we're going to knit across the row as always. And here I am on my last two stitches. And as we talked about before, you can see this is the wrong side. I'm going to turn this around and there's my right side and I'm on the same needle as my first pair of trouser legs. And you can see we're ready to go now. And what we're going to do now is we're going to be joining the two legs together. So when we get there, I'm going to tie these two together. So let's start by knitting these 10. All right, so that's the first 10. Let's bring our needles up and this is my next 10. So I'm just going to tie a knot so these come together. So just a basic knot here. And I mean, yes, I mean, and some people are religious about not ever tying a knot into a knitting project. But like I keep saying, this is for a kid's toy. They're rough with things sometimes and you want it to withstand so they can play with it and have fun with it. So there we go. We've joined those two together. So we've got those joined together. So I'm just going to bring that one tied on piece. I'm going to bring that to the front just so I don't confuse it with my yarn coming off the ball. And let's continue. And I just want to show you something up close here. Here's this, the tail of the yarn that we've just cut. Now, if I was to go like this with my needle, whoops, if I was to go like this with my needle right now, you can see it makes it look like there's two stitches on the needle. We don't want that. So make sure that you've got your needle brought back the other way. So your loop of your stitch is down on the bottom and you only have one on the needle. Okay. So we're not knitting with this one. We're knitting with the yarn coming off the ball. And let's continue to knit across the end of the row. And here's our last stitch and you've now knit them together. So let's turn that around and we're now going to knit 20 rows with all 20 stitches. So go ahead with that and I will meet you when I've got to my last two stitches on my last 20 rows. And knitting my last two stitches again. And you can see that I'm on the wrong side. So we turn this over. We'll be on the right side. And as you can see, we've now knitted the top of his trousers. Now we're ready to add the sweater yarn. So choose the yarn that you want for your sweater. And again, make sure that you're on the right side, wrong side with the stitches, you can see that, and the right side. So let's attach the next yarn. So we'll cut this one off. And I've decided to use a navy blue color for my sweater. So I'm going to just pull out a couple lengths of my blue yarn and tie a good knot. Left over right, right over left is what I like to do for my knots. 
and let's tie that up nice and tight toward that last stitch that we made. And I've got my next color attached for my sweater and we're now going to knit six rows in knit. So all the way across those 20 stitches again, knitting every stitch. Six rows in total. And I'll see you when I get to my last two stitches. And just finishing up the bottom of my sweater with my last two stitches. And now we need to make the arms. So in order to cast on, I'm just going to turn this and let's cast on 11 more stitches. So we're just gonna come into that last stitch, gonna wrap around, but don't take it off. That's one, and two, just like before. Ten. and the last one 11 slips off so now we're going to knit this row and we're going to knit all the way from the sleeve part and the body of the sweater and get to the other end and then we're going to cast on our other 11 stitches and so here I am at the last two going to the end of the body of the sweater and I'm just going to turn my work and cast on 11 more stitches on this side. So let's go in again and again around, but don't pull it off the needle. Coming in again to the right needle and casting on 11 stitches. And you can just go back and check and make sure you've got 11 20 in the middle and 11 at the other end. So just to recount and make sure you've got the exact amount. Now we're going to knit 14 rows. So all the way from the start to one sleeve right to the end to the other sleeve all the way across. All knit stitches. If you're not real comfortable with casting off and knowing how many you've taken off your needle then we can always come in and put a marker where we're going to stop. So I've got a stitch holder here. So then you can come in and place like a stitch holder, or a bobby pin, whatever, whatever you've got hanging around. And now we know we want this one left on our needle. So to cast off, Search your needle into our first stitch, knit it, and now knit the next one. Now we're going to come into that first knitted stitch and pull it right over top of that last knitted stitch. And we've now cast off one stitch. We need to do 10 more. Here's our next one. Again. Take our last and bring it over. Try to stay in camera for you. So next one, knit it. Bring the end one over the last one in through. And here's our marker. That's our start of our 20 stitches, but we still need to get this one off the needle. So we do need to knit this, this one where our stitch marker is. 
And then when that comes off, that will be our first stitch for our 20. So let's just take this out. And if you want to, we can put it down on the end here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. This will be our first cast off right there. So let's knit across to that marker. So we're going to be knitting 20 stitches. This is the first one. This is two. It's 19 and this is number 20. And we're going to take our stitch marker out. We know we have to start from here. And this is our first cast off. So knit, knit one more, and then bring it over, and it's gone again. And our last one. So when that comes off, we're going to just slip this up a bit, our last knitted stitch. And we'll cut the yarn and thread that through. All right, so let's make that loop. And let's just pass our end of our yarn through that loop, cinch it off, and that is the end of our little sleeves and now we're ready to add the yarn that's for the back of the head which is our body so we're using the brown at least i am and so take and pull out a little bit of yarn again and i find this is the time where a, a crochet hook really comes in handy here so i'm going to just pop it through that stitch i'm going to hook my yarn onto it and i'm going to pull it through my stitch here. I'm going to bring my loop through that hole and that's going to tie my yarn onto that last stitch. So you don't actually want to tie it right onto the top here. Probably a good idea. I shouldn't have showed you that. Is just slip that down to the bottom there. You want it tied on to the bottom here because you want to be able to access that first stitch. All right, sorry about that. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is knit one and knit two together, and we're going to do that three times. So we're going to knit one. And now we're going to knit two together. So here's the first one, here's the second one. We're going to come into that stitch and that stitch, both of them. Yarn over and we're going to knit those two together and off the needle. That's the first one. Let's do that again. Knit one and now one, two together. Now second time, one more. Knit one And knit two together. And now we're just going to knit two plain, just two individually. There's one and there's two. Now we're going to go back to that pattern of decreasing again, but we're going to start with the knit two first. So we're going to go and knit two together. And then knit one. Knit two together. And knit one. Third time. Knit two together. And 
and knit one is our last stitch on that row, which is the knit. And you should now have 14 stitches on your needle. Okay, let's turn that around. And this row is just straight knit all the way across. So just knit those. And last knit stitch. Now we're going to do an increase. We're going to take these 14 stitches and we're going to turn them into 20 stitches again. So this is how we're going to do it. Let's go into our first stitch and that will just be a knit. And now into our next stitch is going to be an increase. So let's go into that stitch, wrap around, Bring it through, but don't take that off the needle. Bring this right needle to the back of that left needle. Insert it into the back of the same stitch. Wrap around, pull through, and off the needle. You've now made two stitches out of one. So let's do that again. First stitch is just going to be a knit. And the next one we increase into the stitch, wrap around, bring it through, do not take it off the needle, back into the stitch, wrap around, bring it through, and off the needle. Do that one more time, so we have three increases. That's our knit and the increase in the next one. Wrap around, bring the needle to the back, into the back of the same stitch, and then off the needle. In the middle of the row, we're going to just knit two, just plain two. So there's the first knit, and there's the second knit. And now this time, we're going to increase on a very first stitch for the first one after our knit two. So into the first one is going to be our increase this time. And around into the back of the stitch. Wrap around. And through. And off. That's our increase. Knit one. This is our increase. You should now have 20 stitches on your needle. And now we're going to knit 20 eight rows. So I will continue knitting those 28 rows because you certainly don't have to watch all of that. And I will get back to you when I'm on my last two stitches. And we're just finishing off the last two stitches for the back of the head. And when we turn, we are on the wrong side which is where we want to be. Now we're going to start working on the ears. This is easy enough to follow and it will make for a lengthy video if I do all these rows with you. So I'm going to start by doing rows one and two and you can follow along with that with me. And then I would like you to knit rows three to rows 15. And then when we get to the end of purl 20, then I'll come back and we'll do the pattern together again. So I'll leave this up for a bit. You can either take a screenshot of this if you're on an iPad or I'm not sure what you're working from, or pause the video or print out the pattern and that's in the description box below. So row one, we are going to be knitting seven. And then we are purling six. So if you've never done a purl, we bring the wool 
forward and we knit into the front of the stitch, wool around and pull through. Again, into the front of the stitch, yarn around and off. I have lost my count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. And we need to do six. And then bring your wool to the back again and finish off your row with knit stitches. And a whole row of just knit stitches all the way to the end. There's my last two stitches and I would be turning and then I'd be carrying on with row three so do row three right through to row 15, and we'll see you when we get to row 15, and we'll carry on together there. And on the last two purl stitches. Now we're gonna start the nose section of our face and we're working on the right side. We're going to show you how to do the nose now and as you can see on the profile it comes out and comes in again. This pattern is really great and it's really cool how this little nose is formed. So let's do that part now. We're going to knit seven And now what we're going to do is increase in this eighth stitch. So again, like we did before, wrap around, don't take it off the needle, bring that needle to the back, go into the back of the stitch, wrap around, and bring that off. Now we're going to knit four stitches. And now we're going to increase in the 13th stitch. Again, wrap around, don't take it off the needle, bring that right needle to the back of the left needle, into the back of that stitch, same stitch, wrap around, and you've now made two stitches. And now let's just knit to the end. And let's turn that around and we're going to purl the whole next row and purling the last two of this row and now to the other side we are now going to knit nine There's our nine. And now we're going to increase in the 10th stitch. So again, around, bring the needle to the back, into the back of the same stitch, and bring that off. And now we're going to knit two stitches in the middle here. There's knit one and knit two. And now into the 13th stitch, we are going to 
increase again. Wrap around into the back of the same stitch and off and then knit to the end of the row. You should now have 24 stitches on your needle. And again, a whole row of pearls for the next row. So here's the fun row. So what we're going to do is we're going to knit 14 Okay, you've knit your 14. And now you're going to turn your work to the other side. Your wool will be coming off the left needle. That is fine. What we're going to do now is we're going to purl three into the side here. So into that next stitch, and it's going to be a purl. One more purl, and one more. So three purls in total, okay? Now what we do is we turn our work around again. So we're back on the other side. Now we're back on the other side. Our wool is still coming off this needle. That's okay. So just pick up the wool like you normally would. And we're going to knit now to the end of the row. Now we're just going to purl this row. And I just finished my purl row and back to the front again. And you'll do one row of knits. So knitting and all the way to the end. And I've just finished my knit row and we're going to do one more row of purl. And I've just finished my purl row. And next row, we are now going to start decreasing. So what I want you to do is we're going to start by knitting 10 stitches. There's number 10. And now what I want you to do is knit two together. And we're going to do that two times. So there's one and there's two. So Come back on the second one, put your needle through both those stitches, yarn around, and take them both off. We'll do that one more time. There's one, there's two. Take them both, yarn around, and off they come. And now we're going to knit to the end of the row. All right. Now we're going to turn over and always on the back side, we're doing a purl. So purl row. I've finished my purl row. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start with knitting nine stitches. Okay, 
there's my ninth stitch and then we're going to do that again by knitting two together for our decrease so another decrease row so one two into those two wrap around and pull off and let's do that one more time one two around and take those off and now we're going to knit to the end of the row and you should now have 20 stitches on your needle and again to your back side another row of purl Finished my purl row and now we're going to be doing another decrease row so we're going to start this time with knitting one and now the next one we're going to knit two together so one two and knit two together we're going to do that decrease three times And now knit just two in the middle, knit one, and knit two. And now this time, we're going to start with the knitting two together instead of the knit one. So we're going to start with the knit two together. So one, two. And then knit one. And again, we're going to do that three times. You should now have 14 stitches on your needle. Again, to the back side, and you know, it's another row of pearls. And I've just finished the pearl row. Let's turn to the other side again. And now we're going to start to increase because we need to work it back up to 20 stitches on the needle. So what we're going to do is we're going to knit one and then increase around as before to the back of the needle into the same stitch and off the needle. That's one. We're going to do that three times. And now knit just two plain stitches. So there's one and there's two. Now we're just going to reverse it a little bit, still doing in the increase, but we're going to increase in the first stitch this time instead of knitting one. So this time increase onto the first one. And then knit one. And now you should be back to 20 stitches on your needle. And guess what we're doing now? Turn it around and let's do another row of purl. And you've now completed the front of your little face. So that gets folded over. These become the ears that we sew down later. And there's the little nose that you made. So now we're going to be joining our sweater yarn again
and you should be on your right side. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cast on 11 stitches to form the sleeves of our sweater. So again, as before, we're going to wrap around. Pretend we're knitting that stitch, but we're not going to take it off. We're going to come into the stitch on the right needle, wrap around, but don't take it off. Again, around, and again, and around. And again, remember, when you've done your 10th one, this one just slips off and becomes number 11. So we're going to come in now and we're going to knit those cast on stitches. And now we're going to continue to knit these 20 stitches that are on the needle. There's our last stitch. And now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this and now we're going to cast on another 11 on this end. So insert the needle into your first stitch here. Again, wrapping around, but don't take it off. Two. And that was 10, and this becomes 11. So now we have 11 cast on this side, 20 in the middle, and 11 on this side. Now you're going to be knitting 14 rows through all of these stitches, which will be 42 stitches on your needle now. And just knit all the way to the other end of the sleeve. And you're going to do that for 14 rows. Now we're going to be casting off these 11. We will knit these 20 and then cast off these 11. You can put markers in if that helps you, and then that makes sure that you leave these 20 in here. I've put the marker on stitch number 11 and counting them from this end on stitch number 11. So let's do a quick little reminder if you've forgotten how to cast off. So into the first stitch, knit that stitch, knit the next stitch, And then we're going to pull that first knit stitch over that last one and you have now cast off your first stitch. Do that again. And I'm up to my 11th stitch. I'm coming into my 11th. And that has now come off the needle, so you know you've done it right. You can take your little marker out if you like. And knit 20 to our next marker. And here's my stitch number 20. And now we're going to cast off the 11. So we need to knit the first one, knit the second one, bring that first one over and off the needle. Next one, knit and off the needle 
and do that till you've cast off all of your stitches. Okay, and so on this one here, we're just going to loop that up. You have to cut the yarn and pass your yarn through that loop just to tie it off. So this is where we cast off our last stitches and cut our yarn. So let's turn around because our needle's pointing this way and we need to attach some yarn to finish knitting a bit of the sweater. So we have to come in and add some yarn. So I'm just going to take my crochet hook. I find that's the easiest way to sneak in there. So I'm just going to come in here to the bottom of the stitch and just sneak it there and then grab your yarn, hook it over and then pull that through and then just bring your loose end and pop it through that loop and just tie it on. And coming to the end of row seven and you want to make sure that when you're finished this is the wrong side you want to be able to start your trousers on the correct side the right side so we'll cut the sweater yarn off so I'll attach my trouser yarn Attaching it as close as I can to my last stitch. You've knit the 20 rows and this is where you're going to split the trousers into the legs now. So you're going to knit just 10. There's my 10. Now I tend to get a bit lazy and I leave them on the needle. It's a little bit cumbersome but it works. But if you want it to go easy for you this is when you can take your stitch holder and put these stitches on your stitch holder. But I'm going to choose to leave them on. So then what we're doing is just we're turning this around now. That's the split. And make sure that you've ended on the right side. There's our 28 rows we've just knit for the leg. And now we're going to cut this yarn and we're going to add the body on. And now you're going to knit 15 rows. Knitted the 15 rows and now we'll cast off. Last cast off, cut your yarn, pull through the tail, starting on the right side. Again, using your crochet hook to sneak it in there. In with some more yarn, the trouser yarn, hook it on your crochet hook and pull it through. Take your cut end, pass it through the loop, and you've got more yarn to again knit 28 more rows, then add your body yarn and knit 15 rows and cast off. Now we're going to add on his little paws. So we're going to be picking up eight stitches, knitting this longer and this folds over to make the back side of his paw. So let's show you how to pick up and knit. Sorry, this navy isn't the best color for demonstrating on. So for my first one, you, if I really pull this, you can see those like bars in between. Don't know if you can 
can see that. Sorry, it's hard on the, there we go. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to go under both of those, pick up the body yarn and wrap it around the needle and then pull that through and bring it up the other side. Let's do that again. So again, come over and find another place you can poke a hole into. Wrap around and bring that up the other side. And we're just going to try to evenly space those across the row until we have eight. So I've got three. So then you can kind of feel it out here. I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, and that'll be my eight. So I'll find another hole here. Wrap around. Pull that up to the other side. And I want the last one pretty close to the edge. And you're going to be knitting 20 rows in total. And again, make sure you're picking up on the right side because you will get this drop down into your next color. And your last knitting to do is to make your scarf. I like to match the scarf with this trouser collar because I think it's kind of cute that way. Next, we're going to sew down the ears. Find where the knit stitches meet the first purl row. That's where you're going to fold it in half. And then you're going to come in and we're going to sew down the ears right along the division between the knit and the purl stitches. And I just happen to have my bobby pins handy here. So I'm just going to make sure it's sitting in the right position. And then we're just going to put my bobby pin right here just to help hold it in place while I do my sewing. I'm using my dull end big eyed darning needle. I'm going to tie a knot in the bottom of my yarn. I'm going to come to the inside right on the division line between the two just so I can come inside and hide my knot. I've come up here I'm going to go back and catch the last stitch on the front and the back here. I'm going to come back a little further then that last stitch because I just want to double up on all my stitches here. Make sure that ear is nicely sewed down. Then I'm going to come up again. And instead of going back all the way through, and you can slip up this way, it goes a little bit faster. So I'm just going to slip up like this. And now I can come back. Go past that where the wool's coming up. Back. And then go past. And once you've got this one ear finished, I'm going to just Bring my yarn back to that first hole. I'm going to slide it through so it's inside here and bring it up to start my other ear. And I still have to sew up this part of the ear. So I'm just going to finish off my last 
one here, come up in between my two seams here, and I'll show you how I sew two of my side seams together, and that will be the same for your whole um, bear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a stitch on this side, on the edge. Then I'm going to come over to this side and come into a stitch. Come back on this side. And back on the left side. You can do that about three times, three or four times, going right and then going left. And then once you've gotten a few in there, when you pull this, it'll pull your seams together really nicely. You'll have a perfect little sewing edge. So that's how I sew together the whole um, bear. And then when you get down to your little face, you'll notice you've got more bulk here. So you just give it a little bit of a tug like this and then sew together on here. And then if you run out of the color that you need, then you'll just have to attach some of the same color, continue with the same type of sewing together, stop with your blue your little paw this will come around like this and so then you'll continue to sew up here and then same for this side and sewing along here so all the way along then I stop about here and I stuff my bear and then I finish up with my arm and then we'll be finished with the sewing up of the bear This is the bear I've been demonstrating on, and I have done his face already, but I thought working on the plain yarn will show off better for demonstration. I've cut about a meter or one yard of black embroidery cotton, and I'm using all six strands. Normally you don't use a strand this long because it does tend to tangle, but I want to try to get the eyes, nose, and mouth all in one go. So I'll just thread that on my big eyed darning needle or embroidery needle. And I am going to tie a knot in the end and I'm going to be pulling it through to secure this one end. I roll it in my fingers and that creates the knot. Decide where you want to place your eyes, not too far above the nose. You don't want them too wide. And then just try to get them so they're sitting just about at the same level. So to get up to the eye here, I'm going to start in the neck and secure that knot down in here in the neck because the scarf will hide it in here. So I'm just going to come up somewhere in here and then I'm going to bring my needle up so it comes up right where my eye is. And then when I get my knot in, you can see the knots right there, I just give it a bit of a tug and it's now stuck into the polyester filling inside so that will secure it. So we can now take out our one marker and now I'm just going to be going back and forth to form a bit of a circle for his little eye or her eye. So I'm right here, so I'm going to come back over this way and then I'm going to come up just past that one because I want it to be a little bit more of a circle. And then you're just going to keep going over and over again until you've formed your circle. So I'm going to come really close to this one and then come back again really close to the other one.
And once you're happy with your one eye, finish your last stitch and then bring your needle over to your other eye so you can start your other eye and do the same thing for the other eye. And when you're happy with your other eye, make your last stitch and then make your way up to the top of your nose. Trying to keep my nose in the middle of my two eyes, so I'm just going to center it and make sure I'm right in the middle. And when you're on your last stitch where you want to form your nose, come up right into the middle to start forming his little mouth. So now I'm going to bring the little strand down this way. So I'm not quite in the middle here, so I'm just going to go back, tuck that in right there, and then bring it down. And then I'll go back up again. And then I'm going to come just to the right of his mouth to start forming his little smile. Then come back to the bottom of that one and then up slightly to give him a little smile. And then come back into that same stitch and come over to the other side to form the other side of his mouth. And then come back down to the bottom here and then raise it up a little bit to finish off the other side of his little smile. And then back down. And now what I like to do is I bring this right down into the neck because it will be hidden down in here. And then I'm going to just tie just a little, small little knot down in here. I'll just slip into one of those stitches here and bring it through the loop. And then bring this through over to his arm. that little tug so it goes inside and that'll hide the last stitch. Tie up a scarf. I like to go left over right. Give it a good tug and right over left. And that will make it so both of your ends of your scarf will sit nicely on the bottom. And there's that little guy. They all have a little bit of a different face and I don't like to make them perfect because just like us, we're not perfect. Well, here's my little family of bears. They've all got cute little faces now. And these two have got sweaters and trousers. And this little guy, we did au naturel. So if you want to make one with no trousers and clothes, Feel free to make them all the same color and have fun dressing them up with different doll clothes maybe. Anyways, have fun with those. It's a cute little knitting project. Till next time, bye bye.